Today, we'll head out to Wauwatosa to learn a little history, explore some great parks, experience local shopping, eat some delectable dishes, and have some adventures hanging out with the kids. Don't hesitate to jump on board with us as we set out for some fun in Tosa. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. just arriving here in Wauwatosa, a place I used to call home. Known for its vibrant and rich history, Wauwatosa hosts a plethora of landscapes that house many remnants of the past. Although I know a little bit about Wauwatosa history, I wanted to chat with a real buff to get the inside scoop. So now I'm here at the landing at Hoyt Park with Jeff Rosnowski, who is quite the local historian. Now Jeff, I know a fair amount about the history of Wauwatosa. You know down near everything about it. When you live here for 40 years, you can't help but being immersed by the history of Wauwatosa. It's around us, it's preserved, it's remembered, it's a part of our fabric. So as we go back uh, to uh, the 1830s and prior to that, when the Menominee Indians, uh, Native Americans, as well as the Potawatomi Native American tribes populated that uh, area around the village. The head of those tribes was known as Chief Wauwatosi. So you break up in the Ojibwa language, Wauwatosi, Wauwa, the word in Ojibwa means flash, te means fire, and se means fly. So you put that all together, you get firefly. So we became, uh, we became Wauwatosa. Hoyt Park dates back to 1926. The swimming hole, the ye old swimming hole, you might, uh, you might describe, uh, firefighters created a hole, filled it up with water, and people went swimming in the upper diagram. In the lower diagram was the initial pool that was built uh, in the 1930s. It looks beautiful. That's the same uh, um, framework of the pool house that we see today. Walking distance from the landing lies some beautiful Hoyt Park walking trails, including one of my favorite Wauwatosa gems, the Hoyt Footbridge overlooking the Menominee River. It was this very river that the original Potawatomi and Menominee natives fished hundreds of years ago. To explore the river a bit more, I decided to pop on a bubbler bike and pedal the Menominee Parkway, a beautiful bike trail that follows the Menominee River for three miles, connecting Hoyt Park up to our second destination, Hartung Park. Amidst children at play at Hartung lurks another sign of life that dates back to a time before even the dinosaurs. Fossils, in particular, Trilobites. These were about an inch or two in length. Trilobites, so there were three lobes on it. They were arthropods, but lived in this warm ocean. Because it was a very low energy ocean and warm ocean, it allowed for these fossils to be uncovered. So there's 20 different types of trilobites that have been found in Hartung Park. Lastly, the labyrinth here is a must see at Hartung. Talk about picture perfect. So now in Wauwatosa, I'm at County Grounds Park, which is this expansive open space in the middle of the city. The Milwaukee Regional Medical Center is across the way, and neighborhoods and Mayfair Mall, that's all around us. Hills, trails, and a lot of history. In fact, Milwaukee County had an insane asylum here back in the late 1800s. Remnants of that are still there, and there's a lot of other great historical things you can check out when you download the interactive map to your phone, and then just walk the trails and check it out, which is what I'm gonna do right now. It was a beautiful setting, a park-like setting, and, and it, it, it could be a resort. There are gazebos and, and fountains that were there in this area that is now uh, particularly green space. And uh, But remnants remain. Uh, certain remnants remain. There's an area, a 55-acre area that we call Sanctuary Woods that is just emerging. Uh, and within the last couple of years, uh, the city and county have uh, zoned this as a conservancy to protect it from development. People have been walking through the trails. They see staircases. There's an urn that looks like a dolphin that's there. These are some of the remnants of what some of the uh, Hospital for the Insane had included at, at, uh, at that particular time. 